Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. But now that I do see you, I'm so excited that you're joining us again online today. Before we start, why don't you pause the video for a quick second and see if you can remember what we learned about last week. If you forgot, we learned about how it's important to remember and obey God's truth. Today, we're going to be learning about Jesus coming back and what we should be doing while we wait. But first, let's listen to the song of the month. You won't need any materials for today's activity, so feel free to sit back and enjoy the music. Oh, my God. 
Andre. You know that feeling when you're waiting to go on vacation or you're waiting for Christmas or your birthday to arrive? It's like if the day doesn't hurry up and get here already, you don't know what you're going to do because you just cannot wait. Oh yes, I know that feeling. I guess that's why some people use advent calendars at Christmas uh, or maybe families cross the day off on their calendars as they count down to the vacation. I always have to try to find things to do to fill the time while I'm waiting for something big and exciting like that. Exactly. And today we're going to be learning about something very similar. Jesus told the disciples that he was going to come back to earth, but he didn't tell them when that day was. It could be today or tomorrow. It could be 10 years from now. So what should we do while we wait? Hmm. That's a great question. I guess we'll just have to watch our video and find out. It had been about 30 years since Jesus returned to heaven. And Peter, one of the original 12 disciples, and also one of Jesus' closest friends, was now much older. He was a leader in the Christian church, and he was now a prisoner in Rome when he wrote a letter to other believers. Peter warned the believers against false teachers who tempted them to sin. He did not want these false teachers to lead the believers away from Jesus. He told the believers to turn to the scriptures to know how to live, and he gave them instructions for living the way Jesus wanted them to live. Peter also wrote about the day Jesus will return. Some of the false teachers said that Jesus will never come back. But Peter had been with Jesus when he promised that he would come back. So Peter told the believers to be ready. Peter wrote to remind his dear friends of what the prophet said and what the Lord commanded. First, people are going to come and make fun of you. They will say things like, if Jesus is really coming back like he promised, where is he? God is not being slow to keep his promise. He is being patient. He does not want anyone to die without knowing Jesus. He wants everyone to turn from their sin and trust in him. Peter wrote, the day of the Lord will come when we do not expect it, like a thief in the night. God will judge the world. Until then, you should live a holy life by the Holy Spirit's power. Live in a way that pleases God. Jesus will come again and make the new heavens and a new earth. At this time, the Roman emperor persecuted Christians. He punished them or even killed them. Not long after Peter wrote this letter, he was killed because he followed Jesus. Some people thought the believers were foolish for thinking Jesus is coming again. Peter explained that God is patient and he wants everyone to trust in Jesus. At just the right time, Jesus will come again and we look forward to the day when he creates the new heavens and a new earth. Peter spent a lot of time with Jesus. He knew that he could trust whatever Jesus said. He knew without a shadow of a doubt that Jesus would keep every single promise he made. Jesus would come again, just as he said, and make all things new. But some other believers weren't totally sure. They hadn't spent, spent enough time with Jesus like Peter had. They were beginning to doubt promises Jesus had made and were tempted to listen to teachers spreading false beliefs. Peter knew he had to encourage his friends with the truth and help them guard against temptations that were coming their way. Peter wrote that Jesus will return soon, so we should obey him and tell others all about him. We face the same temptations that those people did. Many people today don't believe in Jesus or don't believe that he is going to come again. People might even make fun of you for going to church and believing in Jesus. They might tell you that you can be in charge of your own life, that whatever you want to believe can be true, or that God is really not in control of anything. But those beliefs are just not true. We can trust what the Bible says, and the Bible says that Jesus is coming back. Peter also took time to explain to his friends why God is being patient in his timing. The Bible tells us he doesn't want anyone to perish, but for everyone to repent and trust in Jesus. We play a part in God's mission to rescue sinners. Peter confirms the answer to our big picture question, how do we live while waiting for Jesus to return? We remember God's truth. 
We become more like Jesus and we spread the gospel. We can share our faith with our friends, family, and neighbors. Then we will be ready for Jesus to come back and make all things new again. Some people thought that these believers were foolish for thinking Jesus is coming again. Peter explained that God is in control, that God is patient, and that he wants everything and everyone to trust in him. At just the right time, Jesus will come again. And we look forward to that day when he creates the new heavens and the new earth. We might find it hard to trust God's promises sometimes. We haven't spent time with Jesus in person the way Peter did, and it might be hard to picture yourself meeting him in person one day. But God never fails to keep his promises. Our memory verse today is from 2 Peter 3 verses 11 and 12. Peter says, live holy and godly lives as you look forward to the day of the Lord. Hey Andre, can you explain what the day of God means here? Yeah. So the day of the Lord or the day of God is what we were just learning about in our lesson. It means the day Jesus comes back to earth. So Peter is telling us in this verse to obey God in our lives as we wait for the day of God, when Jesus comes back. So let's say our verse together again. Live holy and godly lives as you look forward to the day of the Lord. Nice job, everyone. Let's say it together, but with actions now. Live holy and godly lives as you look forward to the day of the Lord. I think we should say it again. Live holy and godly lives as you look forward to the day of the Lord. And one more time. Live holy and godly lives as you look forward to the day of the Lord. Great job, everyone. Keep practicing your verse throughout the week and keep it on your hearts. Are you ready for an activity? Today, we're going to play charades. Andre and I will act out different things, and you can try to guess what you think we are doing. Then we'll give you guys a chance to act as well. Okay, so I'm going to go first. Is everyone ready? Are you ready? Yes. All right, here we go. Hmm. I think... Hmm, I'm not really sure what you're doing. Can any of you guys guess? Oh, I know, you're waiting for something. That's right, I was pretending to be waiting. Did all of you at home manage to guess that? It's your turn now, Alyssa. All right, here we go. Hmm, can any of you guess what Alyssa's doing? Hmm, you know, I think I know. Yeah, I think I know. I think she's telling others about Jesus. Yes, you are correct. So you were really fast that time. <laughs> and great job, everyone at home. If you guessed it, maybe it was tough. Maybe you didn't guess it, but that's what it was. It's my turn again. So are you all ready? What could Andre be doing? What do you guys think he's writing? Hmm. Oh, I think that he's writing a sick note so that he doesn't have to go to school tomorrow. Is that right? That's a good guess, Alyssa, but it's not correct. I was pretending to be Peter writing a letter to his friends like he did in our lesson. Oh, I see. That was a good one. I do what I can. It's your turn to act at home now, so I want you to stand up and try to act out your best reaction to meeting Jesus in person, face to face, for the first time. Imagine how you would react and just act it out and try your charade on your parents and see if they can guess what you're acting out too. You can pause the video until you do your charade. Great acting skills, everyone. It's exciting to imagine what it would be like to meet Jesus in person for the first time. But while we wait, remember, we must to live holy and godly lives and tell others about Jesus. Before we go, let's take a few moments to pray together. I encourage you to say the words after me. Jesus, we wait in anticipation for your return. Jesus, we wait in anticipation for your return. While we wait, help us to obey your word. While we wait, help us to obey your word. Keep our focus on you and help us tell our friends and family about you. Keep Amen. our focus on you and help us tell our family and friends about you. Amen. Hey. 
Hope you had fun with us for this lesson. If you want to dig deeper into the lesson, I invite you to join us for Soul Kids Online this morning after the main gathering. I look forward to seeing many of you there. Bye!